Big E suffered a broken neck on WWE SmackDown. Pete Dunne has been renamed to Butch. Vince McMahon gets a raise and more. What's up, guys? It's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest. Tonight on SmackDown, we had a lot of news that came out of the show, one of them being a very, very unfortunate incident surrounding Big E. Big E announced on social media that he suffered a broken neck after landing on his head following a belly-to-belly -belly suplex by Ridge Holland on tonight's episode of WWE SmackDown. I can't thank all of you beautiful people enough for all of your concern and your messages. It's very heartwarming. Uh, I can move all my digits. You see that? That's nice. That's always a good thing. Um, strength feels fine. But unfortunately, uh, right now, they tell me my neck is broken. So there's that. But uh, once again, thank you, everybody. I'm going to be all right. I'll be good. Don't worry. Go to sleep. Don't worry about all me. But uh, for real, thank you. And uh, I appreciate all of you. We're sending all of our best to Big E and hope that he has a speedy recovery. Now let's go ahead and hop into Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne is no more. In fact, he has been renamed to Butch on his SmackDown debut. Pete Dunne, under a new name, made his main roster debut on SmackDown. In a backstage promo, Sheamus introduced Dunne under the name Butch. Sheamus said that while he was known as another name elsewhere, he and Ridge Holland knew him under his nickname. And this, of course, had social media buzzing because who would have thought that they were going to rename Pete Dunne into Butch? Seriously, who would have thought it? Personally, I think they should have just left his name as is. There was absolutely nothing wrong with Pete Dunne and Butch just seems super outdated. But how do you guys feel about it? Let us know in the comments section. Dunn signed with WWE in early 2017, working both on the NXT UK brand and NXT. He's held the NXT United Kingdom Championship and is also a one-time NXT Tag Team Champion with Matt Riddle. He most recently was on the March 1st episode of NXT, losing to Carmelo Hayes in a match for the North American Championship. He re-signed with WWE last summer. And we have another quick Cody Rhodes update provided by Dave Meltzer. Take a look. Dave Meltzer reported that Seth Rollins is a targeted opponent if Rhodes signs with WWE. Dave Meltzer noted in the most recent Wrestling Observer newsletter that there are tentative plans in place for a match involving Cody Rhodes, should he sign with the promotion in time. While it's uncertain if Rhodes will sign with WWE, creative plans have been laid out, which included a match at WrestleMania against Seth Rollins. WWE's creative team were told this week to hold off on working on Rhodes versus Rollins until Rhodes signs the contract because they had already worked on it and then they had to stop everything when they weren't sure if Rhodes was coming. But it was not a dead deal. Whether or not Cody Rhodes signs with WWE is yet to be seen, but we do have an update regarding Vince McMahon's paycheck. A Friday SEC filing revealed that both WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon and WWE President Chief Revenue Officer Nick Khan will be getting more money this year. In the Form 8K, it said that WWE's Compensation and Human Capital Committee approved the following changes. McMahon's salary was increased to $2 million per year, up from $1.4 million the year prior. While Khan's salary remained at $1.2 million, the second portion of his sign-on equity grant was increased by $7.5 million. He initially got a signing bonus of $15 million of value in stock with 40% vesting in this September and the rest vesting in 2025. Additionally, Kevin Dunn was given over 181,000 shares of Class A stock currently worth around $10 million that will vest in five years. Well, that's a wrap for today. Do not forget to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and lots more. Plus, make sure to head on over to Twitter and give me a follow at underscore Denise Salcedo. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Before you head out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out our previous story regarding Jeff Hardy's AEW debut.